Donald Trump has spent his life walking around just showing his fucking sack to the world, right? I've got the biggest fucking balls in the room. You're going to do what I say. And he always got away with shit when he was this flashy businessman type in New York. They just let him go do his shit. He fucks around on his wives and he, he, he fucks over businessmen, but it's just Donald being Donald. And then he got into politics and he tried fucking with our very freedom. He tried fucking with the American way of life. And then he found out that that shit doesn't exactly fly. And his own fucking people, Republicans, turned on him. Like we haven't seen Republicans or Democrats turn on their own in probably my lifetime. And he's out there trying to flex and trying to show everybody that he's still in charge. And the Republican group, the Lincoln Project, that has made a full-time job out of going after this asshole has just shown him that... He doesn't have the biggest fucking balls in the room. They made an ad that he doesn't like. So he sent them a cease and desist letter. This is their reply. Donald, here's the thing. You can send every lawyer letter you want. You will never take us to court. You will never take us to court. Because you, A, understand that we will get into discovery with you and your campaign. And that will be a wreck for you. That will be a shit show for you that will never end. We will get in, Donald, and I will tell you this very clearly. If you sue us, we'll bring you into discovery and we'll start talking about where all the money goes in the Trump campaign. Because you and I both know, Donald, that you people are skimming off enormous percentages of the cash from your campaign. We know it. You know it. There are all those crazy LLCs, those mysterious Wyoming registered LLCs that are that are housed in Delaware behind 27 layers of, of obscurity. We know where they are, Donald. We know who they are. We know what you're doing. You're never going to sue us. You're never going to sue us. You are, in fact, as I pointed out in a previous video to you, Donald Trump, a pussy-ass bitch. You will never sue us. If you try, it will be fantastic because America will know what's underneath the rotten, stinking, filthy hood of your campaign. You will never get away with it. And I will tell you this very clearly. I personally have already been sued by your minion, Mike Flynn. Okay? I don't care. I'm going to fight it, and I'm going to win it. You can sue us if you want, but believe me, it will go so badly for you. We will get into everything. We will get into everything, Donald. We will get into the settlements your campaigns had to pay for sexual harassment lawsuits. We will get into the money. We will get into every single part of your crapulous enterprise. Everything will come public. We're not afraid of you, Donald. No one's afraid of you anymore. The world looks at you now as a sad old clown. The world looks at you now as a guy who can't stop telling the same war story. You had a guy in the Camaro five years after you graduated from high school circling the parking lot on the, night, on the Friday night football game. You are just pathetic. You are limp. You are lame. Your campaign is failing. The fact that you sent us a cease and desist letter today tells me everything I need to know. We're in your head. We own your ass. We will not stop fucking with you or your campaign. We will not stop breaking off the voters you need to win because you're not going to win. We're going to defeat you again. We beat you in 2020, and you spent millions of dollars after that in a little revenge fantasy. Okay, we're still here. You asked Bill Barr to investigate us after during 2020. And even Bill Barr said no to you. You will not win, Donald. You will not beat us. You will not beat Kamala Harris. You will not beat the American people who are done with your bullshit. And please, send all the cease and desist letters you want. We'll make more ads. We'll make ads that piss you off more. I beg of you, keep it up, Donald. Just do it. Do it. Do it. You can't, and you know you won't. Because you know what, Donald? You're reduced now to selling endorsements of $300,000 for, for a Trump Bible. You're reduced now to, to hawking Bitcoin bullshit. You're reduced now to selling tennis shoes. You are the most pathetic example of human waste I can imagine. The, the, the American people, the ones who love you, I can't save them, and no one else can either. But the people who understand you, and we understand you almost better than anybody, know something about you. You are low, you are weak, you have failed, you will lose, and history will piss on your grave for a thousand years.
was quite a response. That is, once again, a Republican-led organization. That organization consists of former Republicans, some of the top Republican strategists in my lifetime. And they went after him in 2020 hard, and I think that they made a difference. I know they pissed them off. And uh, they're at it again. And he is fucking raging about these guys. That is the Lincoln Project begging Trump to sue them. Begging them. That is, they're, they're literally asking him to sue them. Fuck, please sue us. Please. So we can get into discovery. Please sue us. We beg of you. Donald Trump tried to put his his uh, his wang, if we could be politically correct or not piss off the censors of this app, on the table to show everybody how big it is. But it's so short it missed the table. And then the Lincoln Project stood up, unzipped their fly, and went some. point in time in this campaign when I said anybody can win this thing anybody can win this thing and anybody still can win this thing just so that we're all sure we all need to get out and vote but I'm telling you as the days go on as we get closer and closer to this goddamn thing it's looking worse and worse for him it is looking worse and worse for him he was up here in uh, northern Illinois just over the weekend at like a like a county fairground with some with some bleachers. He couldn't even fill the fucking bleachers. He couldn't even fill the fucking... And that's in rural red northern Illinois, where the Trump signs are aplenty. And close to the Wisconsin border, could have easily pulled some good old boys out of the back roads from Wisconsin. Couldn't even fucking fill the bleachers up there. Was in Pennsylvania. Couldn't fill an 8,300-seat capacity stadium. Even after they cordoned off a whole last section for it to not even be used. He couldn't fill up the remainder of it. He's losing sponsor or, uh, uh, endorsement, not endorsement, sponsor. He's losing money. He's not pulling in the money like he used to. And the money he is pulling in, as as they said there in that, uh, that reply, we know where it's going. It's going to his lawyers. There's a reason why the legal team that's helping keep him, hot, keep him out of jail or working to keep him out of jail right now haven't quit on him yet. It's because they, they're getting paid unlike a shit ton of other lawyers in his past. Ask Jenna Ellis. So they're sticking around because they're getting paid. Who's paying them? It's, it's not the Trump organization. There's somebody watching the Trump organization uh, via a court order, making sure that everything is tracked in and out of that, in and out of that company. It's campaign funds. It's all of that money that these fucking simpletons in this country race to their phones to donate to him again. And it's money he makes off of shitty Bibles and shitty gym shoes and, and NFT cards and all kinds of dumb shit. He's desperate. He is so fucking desperate and so fucking scared that he is going to lose this election. Because if he does, first of all, he's a two-time loser in the presidential election and a three-time loser of the popular vote. And he will have lost to Joe Biden then not had the ability to avenge that loss to Joe Biden while losing to a black woman. And that will crush him. Get out and vote. Make sure you make this happen. Make sure Kamala Harris wins this election and send a fucking message to the Republicans once and for all that this country is done with Trumpism. 